Hi there folks, Borislav247 here and welcome back to part 7 of my Days Gone Extreme playthrough. In the last episode I basically uh, acquired a few more uh, injectors uh, from Nero sites as well as this. Got into quite a few battles but uh, the story is starting to progress very nicely. Um, especially now that I have taken care of all the ambush camps and whatnot and I'm really now starting to uh, dial into all these main missions that need to be completed and uh, the next one yeah it's a biggie i'm looking for uh, lisa so let's do this i have taken the time to uh basically move the cycle from night to day because when i did arrive here it was night time um just to speed things up a bit it's like let's get to the action <laughs> Hey, what do you need? Got everything I need, mate. <laughs> Alright, get that light off. That's the bloody sudden rippers that were uh, waiting for me when I got back from my last trips. <laughs> Never did finish burning out his nesting zone. Just about to say, going the wrong way here, Boris. There was a plant there, but I can hear a lot of uh, freaker activity, so no, screw it. That plant is not I'll worth it at the moment. Back later, burn out these nests. Yeah, there's actually just one more that I've got to take care of over there. Um, and if there is a petrol can around that particular area, then it shouldn't be a problem. But I will be back up that way at some point, so I can take care of that uh, at a later date. So. Yes, it's another trip back to Marine Forks. This is a big part of the storyline. Now, okay, just... Bit of overkill there, but again, I'm just watching for uh, these wires that the, the marauders sometimes uh, use I across the roads. Burn out this infestation zone. Oh, now, before we get over to, oh, do you know what? There's a guy in trouble over there. Let's see if I can help him out. I guess I'm not helping that guy out after all. <laughs> all right, where are you hiding? You gotta be here somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? As you move cautiously, you don't stick around long. Good for you. <sighs> Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. <laughs> yep, yeah, up over here. You fucking rippers, none of you are getting out of here alive. I tell ya, sorry, goddamn. Run out, look around. There's a girl here somewhere. Want eyes on every part of this shithole. You guys got that? All right. Nice. 
I'm sniper up yonder, but next spiker's coming over. Okay. Yeah, I need to get closer to that sniper. Holy. Sniper is a pain, I really need to get that one out of the way first. So, over we go. from them. I don't want to take them out unless I have to. Right, reload. Keep moving. I'll get you. Ah, uh, yeah. Might as well take time. I'll uh. just take these. Yep. I need the ammunition. to dial in a bit better with these headshots. There we go. Yeah. I don't want to get too close to that ripper because he is right beside a petrol can. Oh, son of a bitch. Nice. Come on, but that's okay. Damn it. Yeah, lucky bugger there. Oh, right, okay. There we go. This is sealed up. Right. Yeah, first things first. Loot, loot, loot. A tractor inventory full. Ugh. Pipe bombs does not matter about. Cannot use them. You know what? Let's uh, get healed up first. Okay, ah, ammunition, fantastic. Ladder, this is it. Come on. Just gotta set it here. All right, kid, where are you hiding?
Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? Put the gun away, Deke. Oh, man. Okay, uh... Is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, <laughs> That's oh. mine! This one's for gymnastics. I should've won first place, but... Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and... They would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here, and there was... A note that said they left with some men, and... I didn't know what to do, so... I hate it. I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people. I know them. It's, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a work camp. And to eat, you have to work. Life is going to be hard. No. But at least you ain't going to starve. No. Uh, no, my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp. I know she is. Okay. Stay close. The men with the guns. Are they still out there? No, we don't gotta worry about them. Did you nope. Them? They're gone. Okay. There's all the things to worry about. Lots of sick people. Okay. Fat. Fat on chest in case. Really want to keep quiet for this. Yep, stay close, Lisa. Stay close. Here. Yeah, I want to stay away from there. This one I ideally want to take out. We shouldn't be out here. Nope, we definitely shouldn't. Avoid a lot of trouble just by staying to the outer uh, areas here. Right, okay. Nice headshot. Yep, getting that. Oh, damn. Bloody hell. <laughs> ah, we says there, couldn't you see her? <laughs> Okay, we're just about there. Take this off because this is about to get loud. I know what's coming. Where's that bear? <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. Ah. 
I would hide, Lisa. <laughs> Come on, I'd ideally like to get to that there. Yep. Get that there, pick that up. Over. Light it up. Come on. made a bit easier. <laughs> okay. Quite surreal. One of the camps can use this. Yep. I certainly can. Right, where's Lisa? Ah, God. I know I'm going to get bothered off this lot. Do you want to move away? Thank you. Get on, we have to move. I don't know about this. Come on, kid, we gotta go. Okay. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? <sighs> you don't talk much, Deacon. My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs, uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay, that, that sounds great. We used to go all over. On that crater, the lava flow and black crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. One thing I do know, you shouldn't be getting taken to this bloody camp, that's for sure. Shit, someone's in the tunnel. What? Here, hop off. What are we doing? Listen to me, the gunshots that you heard, those were really bad men. Do you understand? Gotcha. <laughs> hey. Come on, you son of a bitches. I'm too far from Lisa. Oh, come on. Right, bring the bike a bit further forward. <laughs> yes. Stay here, find some place to hide. Don't come out until I say so, okay? There we go. Lisa! Kid! Come on out, it's safe! Med kit, that's a nice one to get. Uh, right. In fact, how many med kits do I have? I'll make use of these uh, ambulances. Right. 
Are you okay? Yeah. I, I think I want to go home. Nah, kid, the camp. You'll be safe there, you'll see. Okay. Safe, but not happy. Right, okay. Let's get myself... Uh, all right, okay. I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms, you know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland. My best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know. Stuff like that. Okay, okay. do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Is this Tucker? Oh, my God. <laughs> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people got sh sh sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> Don't get soft on me, Deke. Just when you think you see a bit of humanity about her and then she just bloody shifts again like that, it's like, fuck off. What did you bloody bring her to this place for, Deke? Go. Okay. okay, right. Another skill point that I can't use. <laughs> yep, let's get uh, reloaded with ammo. What's happening? Get your ass back to work. Need anything else? Yep. What else can I do for you? No. Do you know what? No. Come by if you still need something. Well, more to the point, let's just actually check and see what the... Um, I see it's still at 72%. That's... Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Right. What time are we looking at? Because... Yep, there is another Nero injector in that cave, and I could do with it. Do you know what? What the hell? I'm actually going to move the time on to night time. Well, to 8 o'clock at night, 
and uh, yeah, get that right now. Because I'm very nearby, and uh, it should be reasonably safe to get the job done. Hey, what do you need? Uh, just having a look. Stuff's getting scarce. Yeah, bright bike, yeah, it always goes out. Right, bed's over here, so... Going this way, just have the bike at the ready. Okay. Got to close my eyes for a bit. Yeah, I'm only going to be advancing the time on for about three hours, but it's all good. It's what I need. Right, okay. I'm not going to take out the Pat Jen's uh, leg court just yet. They will get it another time, but just not at the moment. Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deacon. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't. But with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. O'Brien, oh, I got some questions for you. Oh, what the hell is that sound? It's what I've come in here for, Deke. <laughs> Another yeah. Nero injector. Good. Yeah, I'll take more health, please. Ah. Well. Was feeling a little under the weather. Another Nero recorder. Come on, pull back. Pull back. pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. I don't know. Goddamn scientists! What do we do? What do we do? Shit, get trapped. Get back. We're trapped. Shit. There's no way out. Fire! 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 Fire. 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 Jesus, what the hell was that? Let's just hope we don't have to find out. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's get over here. Okay, where are we going next? Aha, okay. This is the first of two missions where I have to use um, a sniper rifle. You simply cannot complete these missions without doing this. Um, so, yeah, we'll get that taken care of, but I might as well head up here, given that I'm fairly close, and do you know what? If there is a petrol can up there, I'll try and take that last one out. 
but I could have another problem because the patch ends horde could be up there. Ah, it's gotta be fun. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, the Pat Gens Horde are going to be up there because they would normally be right here if they were at the water location. Ah, oh, holy shit, there they are. <laughs> right. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do this because this lot will start chasing in a big way. Do you know what? They've, they've not actually come up uh, this way, um, so... However, it is night time. Now, is there anything around here in, by the way of a petrol can? Shit, there's a lot of them here. This was a bad idea. Okay. Get over here, Boris. Did I take one hit probably here? Nope, maybe not. Turn around. That's it. Get out. St. John, Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. was a close one before. There's a good reason why I don't come out at night very often. Ah, oh, right, okay, um, you know what, really want to keep this a bit quieter. Oh, that wasn't clever. There's quite a few of them here, so I'm really going to have to uh, just go for it. God's sake. Oh, Off. Right. Just get a bit of distance and Oh shit. Right, is that a lot of them? Okay. Hey, me again. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I'd do, and, and maybe he's right, I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got him sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know? But Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. 
Not that it mattered, and son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as we get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're gonna ride north. Fresh start. Got yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh, I might not see you again, you know? Okay. Yeah, I wasted a fair old bit on farm all there, but never mind. Uh, right. The journey back. Um, and yes. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to go back up here because uh, I've just realised yeah, I'm going to start to be getting uh, short on fuel with the bike so but there is stuff up here, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing a few the last time take that oh. ah, do you know what this one's not seen me Okay. No. Oh, come on. I wasn't trying to read. Bloody. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I wasn't trying to reload the bloody gun, but never mind. This is the reason I don't like coming out at night too much. Too many of these bloody sons of bitches around. What do I want? Am I going to get away with this? Yeah, actually, I might. Yeah, definitely need fuel. This is going to be a long journey. Tried to dodge them, chances are they would have jumped on us. And probably got me as well. Hello, boys! <laughs> Another time! <laughs> You know what? Screw it. I'm heading back to flopping pet <laughs> tuckers just to change uh, from uh, night to day. Why make life any harder than what it already is in this game right now? Won't take long. You here for your bike? Uh, you know what? I'm actually quite good on fuel, so let's just get some more ammunition and then How let's get some sleep. How's life in the hot springs? Yeah, all right. I'll be here. See you around. Yeah. 
It's like loser says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Let's go. Right then, let's go. because I am going the wrong way. <laughs> yep, my sense of direction is legendary for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> it's a good job I checked when I did. That's fine, let them fight away. way. I'll fill up when I've got the chance. Good. Shit, that's right. I gotta finish burning out these nests. Oh, they'll get taken care of. Way for us.
Right, okay, it's actually taking me up to where the mission is starting for this one. That's that's fine. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. <laughs> killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus and see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Yes, you're fulfilling your destiny, Dick. You're going out looking for fresh shit. <laughs> Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Come on, give us a good dumb gun. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. You got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. <sighs> okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. Yeah, even if you're not seeing much on the ground. Any time now. You just follow the dots on the minimap. <laughs> okay. You know how to gut an animal? Where's the bloody thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving the area. This is a disaster. I had it before. Must be here. Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man and yeah he uh, he showed me how to gut a deer well let's just say no disrespect to boozer but you got a lot to learn you're wasting a lot of meat there overall not bad for a beginner yeah thanks now i'll take back that rifle here thanks like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Yeah, that's the first time I've had uh, the buck hide itself like that. Normally you just go down the hill and it's there, nice and easy to find. Uh, yeah, me and my big mouth when I'm saying just follow the dots, uh, uh, kiss of death. Okay, um... Meet a couple of guys Deke, how have you been? I don't hey, think there's actually anything I need. Uh, no, I'm full on ammo, because, yeah, I've not to use anything. Uh, primary, I haven't used sidearm. What? Not enough credits? 
Not that, mate. Uh, still 72%, so that's still pretty damn good at the moment. I'll be seeing you. Okay. Where am I going to next? Ha! Yep. Tracking down O'Brien. Yep. Nice. Let's do this. Yeah, fuel's not terrible, but Camper's might as well get life. it topped up. Hey, this girl could use a tune-up. <sighs> Super to say. Bloody move my bike. Right, let's just get over there. How's it going, booze man? Fine, God damn it. Hey, D, we're getting low on supplies. Could use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. You, uh, you remember what you're doing? Yeah, I had Cope give you a few pointers. Believe it or not. Oh, shit. I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See you, booze man. Fresh meat. That ought to do it. Okay, I just got to get this back to booze man. Yep, I can take care of that one right now because I've already got the meat. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these here woods. Shit, my grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in the world he never had dreamed of. I built my first tree house to use as a deer blind. Getting high on your target helps your aim. Keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first dough from a top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also taught me to catch a doe. Sometimes you gotta lay an ambush. Hide where they need to go. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. My grandfather always said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come round. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, that's great, Cope. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, it's real sporting. I guess none of that shit matters now. Always need this. Yeah, traps are always good, but if you've got a Chicago chopper, well, hunting becomes a bit easier. <laughs> I don't have that luxury on this playthrough, of course, but <laughs> I'm just saying. Again, get the plants. Right, and let's get Boozer some meat. This is why I took care of those uh, animals earlier on. Hey, Dig. I'm starting to get worried. Yeah, I guess I've been gone a while. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll salt it up in a bit. Okay. Um, there's no point in going in there because I think I'm full up on just about everything. Don't think you get uh, med kits from in there. And. Yeah, I don't see a point. Right. Time, because it looks dark. Yeah, let's move this on a touch. I'm just going to grab some shot eye. This might actually need to be two sleeps. Because the first one's just likely to take me on to 8 o'clock at night. Yeah, that's precisely why it's done. Oh, 
I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. That should do it. Yeah, let's go. Now, something else I'm going to take care of just en route to where I'm heading because, yep, Hydro Dam is very close to this area and I'm going to check it out just in case the items that you can get from there have respawned. It m might have done because it's been, yeah, a few days have passed, so realistically, this could be, uh, this could be a chance of getting a few more things. An attractor bomb, especially, because I don't have many of those. And I could certainly do with some of those for uh, the hordes. <laughs> now, yeah, probably going to have to head down this way first. here now I can start to work my way across. Oh, okay. Hostage situation. One that I've actually got a chance of uh, doing cleanly. and drifters and raiders. No. Someone needs help. Is there any more? Help! 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 You! 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 Well, help, help you, man. Help me. Fucking hey, chill. Hey, hey, it's okay. You want to die out here? Look, there's a camp in... Yeah, camp? What camp? Show me where? Copeland's. Because I sure shit ain't sending you a fucking Tuckers. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Uh, I was a goner. Thank you. Thank you, man. I, th I thought it was over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him it was St. John. Deacon. They know you. Keep your head down and run. Right, okay. Back to the bike. Uh, this way, Boris, this way. Because if the items here have respawned, then the ones in Marion Forks will be likewise. Can't gauge anything from that because I didn't pick that up the last time. Here we go. These have respawned. Flashband, fa fantastic. Medkit, yes. And there should be an attractor bomb over here as well. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's go. that every time.
Okay, now I can... Uh... Ah, that's already taken off, so... <laughs> yep, this is one of the missions that would normally require you to have a lot of stealth about you. But if you know where they're going, you can get ahead of them and make this job a very easy one indeed. I'll just wait round about here. <laughs> There's not many of the Nero missions that require you to um, use stealth in order to get to places to listen, um, where you can get away with it like this, but this is one of them. Let's do this. Well, leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, whether that been something. Uh-oh. What do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub, sub, d, d, civilians, that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, with Nero camp, protocol 2 7 were states. Burning. The Everyone I was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember a, a knife wound. She she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead. So I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, uh, 
camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a uh, camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get some shut eye, booze, man. I will not tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Deke? Oh, soon, Boozer. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Right, just looking to get back on the bike and then I will be finishing the video for this part. O'Brien, oh, O'Brien, oh, he's alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen, he gave her an IV, he kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be. She. No, 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 no. No, no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is, then maybe. Finally, some peace and quiet. That brings me to the end of part seven. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Are you out there, O'Brien? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, come on, Ryan. Get back to me. Okay, now we can stop it. <laughs>